prescription. Okay, what's your name? Uh, Marina. Is it Greece? Yes. Okay, I have it here for you. So, um, I'm just going to quickly go over your, your profile here, if that's okay with you. Sure. So we're just going to make sure you don't have any new allergies on file. We have cats, mold, dust, pollen, and penicillin, is that right? Yeah, it's the big N ones. Nothing else that you know of? It seems like everything in the environment, but those are the ones that really bother me. Oh, okay. Um, and what about your, your medications? Do you take any medications currently? No. Okay. Any over-the-counter or herbal medications? Uh, yeah, I take a Tylenol uh, sometimes if I have a headache okay. or a little bit of pain. And with my allergies, I have been using uh, Reactor. Reactor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, do you know why you're taking, why your doctor's prescribed this medication? For my allergies. For your allergies? Yeah. Is that the only medical condition that you have as far as you know? Yes. Yeah. So, um, can you tell me kind of what's going on with your allergies? Uh, it is my nose, it is the congestion, the runny nose, the itchy nose, the sneezing. It's driving me crazy. Yes. So I think this medication that your doctor prescribed is a good choice. I think it's going to work well for your symptoms. Yes. It's called Nasonex. It's a topical steroid. And basically what this does is it helps in the short term to prevent the allergy response right in your sinuses and anything. Basically what it does is it shuts off your body's response to those, those little things that are causing you the problem. So. Okay. Have you tried a medication like this perhaps before? Um, not by prescription, so just some more of the counter stuff, but yeah. Some sprays or some tablets you mentioned the reactive? Reactive. Or? I think sprays a long time ago. Okay. So, so this is a spray, so it gets sprayed inside your nose, okay. and that's where it directly where it's working. So your doctor would like you to use two sprays into each nostril once a day. Okay. So the first time we're going to use it, it's, it's brand new out of the box right now, you want to just point it away from yourself and give it two or three good sprays to make sure that it's misting properly. So you can kind of see right there, it seems to be, seems to be going well. So okay. you only need to do that the first time when it's brand new out of the box, or if you don't use it for about a week. So, and then just give it one spray to make sure the pump is working. Okay. Any questions about that? No. Nope. Okay, good. So, to use a spray like this, it's probably easiest to block one nostril and use the opposite hand to, to spray into the unblocked nostril. So, I use my right hand for my left nostril. So, I block my nostril with my, uh, my, my right nostril with my left hand, and then I slide whoop, the sprayer. Okay with my right hand into my left nostril. So just kind of think think opposite there. Okay. And before you do that, you just want to blow your nose gently to make sure that everything's clear. Okay. So give her a nice a nice gentle shake to make sure everything's mixed up there. Yep. And then I'm gonna block my nostril, slide this guy into the other nostril, just breathe in gently and, and depress the squeeze the point here and it's just gonna give you that mist into your nostril. So okay. do that for the other nostril. So switch hands and then the other nostril. Wait uh, 30 seconds or a minute or so, and then repeat the process. So, so you're going to have two sprays in each nostril, just one spray. So one spray, one spray, wait a little bit, then one spray, and another spray. Does that sound okay? Yep. Okay. Did your doctor tell you what to expect from this medication? No. Okay. So generally I'd say within the first day or so, you might get a little bit of relief, but it probably won't get your maximum benefit for a week or two. So I'd say give yourself a good two-week trial to see if the medication is going to be going to be really effective for you. Okay. Does that sound okay? Yeah. Okay. Did your doctor mention any, any side effects, any things to watch out for? No. Okay. So generally this medication is really well tolerated by most people, although sometimes it can cause some headaches or uh, some nosebleeds. And so the nosebleeds are generally happen to people who are using the, the sprayer a little bit improperly. And so when you spray on the on the septum or the center of your nose on the inside there, it can get irritated and cause nosebleeds. Oh. So again, that's really why it's important to use your opposite hand for your opposite nostril. That way you're you're pointing the right direction and avoiding spraying on the center of your nose. So. Okay. Other than that, do you have any, any questions about what we've talked about so far? Well, you said it was a steroid, and I've heard bad things about steroids that they have lots of bad side effects, you know, we mentioned the nose thing, but should I be concerned about that? Mm -hmm. So, good point. So you're right that steroids, when they're taken by mouth in tablet forms, mm -hmm. can cause a lot of side effects. This is a topical steroid, and so it's not really getting into your body, you're just spraying it on the inside of your nose, it's not getting absorbed into your body. So 
So we know for, for people using this long-term use, there's really minimal absorption and the same side effects that we see with people who are taking oral steroids mm -hmm. are, are not associated with this medication. So. so then how long can I use this for? Generally, it, it's really safe for a long period of time. Um, for a person like yourself, it's probably wise to try it for a couple months mm -hmm. to see how your symptoms are doing. Okay. And if if they get better, it might be wise to, to stop the medication and see if they come back. But people can use this for long periods of time safely. Okay. So if we talked about it taking about maybe two weeks before you get your maximum benefit, okay. if you don't find that it's giving you a benefit by you know the end of that two weeks, just give myself or your doctor a call and let them know that it's not uh, it's not doing what you want because there's lots of different <coughs> in the same family that can do the same thing. It just kind of depends which one would work better for you. So, okay. other than that, just talking about some some allergy issues. Do you you mentioned that you're allergic to cats and, and mold and dust? Do you have pets at home? No, I don't. But I'm in an apartment complex where pets are allowed. So so in a situation like that, the, the best thing you can do to control your allergy symptoms is for sure, number one, avoiding the avoiding the problem, so avoiding the allergen. A medication like Nasonex is, is kind of the next step. So if you can, it might be wise to get like an air conditioner that can kind of filter out the air in your apartment, and also a really good vacuum to, to kind of make sure, I have a vacuum to make sure that it's filtering out as much particles as possible. I know sometimes that's not always possible, but that's still a good, uh, a good option to kind of minimize the, the allergies and allergens that are around there so okay so just something to think about yeah but do you have any any questions for me right now no okay if you do or if you want to discuss anything more about the next you can always give us a call